winter band concert. Um, this one is always a little bit different. Um, it looks a little bit different than our normal band concerts because instead of having all of our bands 6 through 12 or even 5 through 12, we have really mostly our high school students with a few of our middle school students who participate in jazz band. Um, and so this concert looks a little bit different. We're going to start with our jazz band tonight, and they have two songs for you. Um, they have met a total of four times between winter break and now. Thank you, snow days, two-hour delays, and, and various and sundry conflicts. But um, they've prepared two songs for you, um, and you will hear these songs a couple more times. Um, the jazz band will be performing on our spring concert uh, in late April. They will be performing with the choirs um, as part of their dinner theater. We're doing a jazz cabaret combined with the choirs, um, and so they'll be doing that. And they'll also be performing at the South Central Jazz Festival, so you'll hear some of these tunes again. We're going to start with Feeling Good. With a trumpet solo by Amani Gazelle. Thank you. 
Next time you hear that, we'll add a vocalist. Our second and final selection for the jazz band is Sway. We were feeling very Michael Buble at this concert. Don't judge us too harshly. Uh, and this has a alto sax solo by Braxton Wackles. <laughs>
not, Amani also has a solo in this one. So again, grab some waffles, Amani. All right. We have two pieces for you in our concert band selection today. The first is called Crossroads by Michael Orr. We sight read this and it just clicked. It just fit with this group. Um, this is a really fun, exciting piece. It goes between some faster parts and some kind of slower parts. Um, but what is most interesting to it, if you're a music person, is it's in mixed meter. So it alternates from 3-4 to 4-4 to 5-4. Um, so that is a good time. And uh, they've really enjoyed playing this one. So I hope you enjoy listening. Crossroads.
And now, as they say, it's time for something completely different. <laughs> uh, this next one is very folk songy. Um, it's called Blue Ridge Reel uh, by Brian Balmages. Uh, this is one of the first pieces I got to play with kids when I came to this school, um, and so I'm glad to reprise it with this group. Um, it's a lot of fun. Um, you're going to hear some different sounds. Um, they're supposed to be with the spoons, somebody playing the spoons, um, somebody imitating playing on a washboard. Um, so again, very folksy and a lot of fun. Here's Blue Ridge Reel. As many of you parents and guardians know, um, your children were gone for quite a long time on Saturday. Um, as many of them arrived here at school at 6 a.m. to be on the bus by 6.30 to travel to Genoa Area High School and perform at solo and ensemble contests. Um, it is a unique experience. Um, it is both what is good and what is difficult in music. Um, music being very subjective, it is very hard. Um, for these students to prepare, put themselves out there, and be judged. But it also is a measure of, of where uh, a, a, an adjudicator feels that 
they are as musicians. Um, so it's both challenging um, and, and good, but also sometimes a little difficult. Um, but we're very happy to share some of our ensembles and a few of our solos with you tonight. Um, we are going to begin with our percussion ensemble. Um, our percussion ensemble challenged themselves this time around to take a class B solo, or ensemble, excuse me. Um, there are three classes within OMEA solo and ensemble cl uh, contest. Um, three formal classes, class C, class B, and class A. Class A being the highest, class C being the lowest. However, it really does not matter in what level students compete as long as they are challenging themselves, um, and that is differentiation and challenging ourselves to be the best that we can be. Um, we had students participate in all three classes this year, um, as well as we had some students who ex uh, uh, were in exploratory class, which is a new class for students who are new on their instrument. And we do have a few students who are new to their instrument this year um, or within the last year. And so the, some of those students performed in that exploratory class. So proud of all these students. I cannot wait to share these ensembles with you. As soon as we get the stand untangled from the things that it is tangled on. There we go. So here is our percussion ensemble playing Orientale.
next up is going to be our flute trio. However, you might have noticed there are only two flutes sitting here. That's because one of them is ill today. Luckily, I play flute, so I'm going to. <laughs> Reagan joined band as a junior. She's a senior this year. She is a second year player. Carson rejoined us in band three months ago. And when she was in band previously, she was a percussionist. So three months, she has played this instrument. Okay, our low brass quartet will be playing corral and clog dance. Thank you. 
one of these individuals plays at least two instruments. Um, Wesley plays the trumpet and the French horn. Um, Aiden plays trumpet in concert band, but is a percussionist for marching band, having played both quads and bass drum. Um, and Imani is not only a skilled trumpet player, but also a clarinet player. So each one of those instruments learned, has learned two instruments. Um, we're going to move over to some solos now. Um, we're gonna start with a timpani solo by Eliza Stewart. Um, Eliza and her family went on an awesome family trip, which meant that they couldn't be at Soul and Ensemble, but that's okay. So she's going to perform for you tonight, and this is her Soul and Ensemble. So, from Western Reserve High School, performing a timpani solo from Pedal to the Kettle is Eliza Stewart. <laughs>
All right, next up is going to be Lindsay Sprawls playing her alto sax solo, Arioso. We were very fortunate um, last minute to find a very good accompanist, Mr. Tom Curry. Um, he also helps out with accompaniment for the Firelands Symphony. Um, and he was hoping to be here tonight, but unfortunately he was unable to make it. So our soloists are going to be unaccompanied tonight, even though they did play with piano accompaniment on Saturday. Lindsay received a superior one rating on her solo ario. So. bass clarinet solo. If you don't know this beautiful instrument, you're going to get to hear it in, in a lot of its glory. Um, Shiloh has picked a really fun um, solo that none of us can pronounce the name to. Um, what did we decide it was? Chin, chin, chin. Oh, you looked up in your phone. Uh, I, I forgot. <laughs> no, that's not it. All right. Uh, Chincho tea, we think, or something of that nature. Um, all right, here is Shiloh playing Chincho Teak. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Libertowski playing Aria Gra uh, Grazioso. Um, Caitlin has the honor and the distinction of taking the most events to solo and ensemble this year. Um, she took two vocal solos, um, one of which being a class A on which she earned a superior rating. Woohoo! No small feat. Um, she also took another vocal solo in a different vocal range, a vocal ensemble, and then this clarinet solo, which was a class B, um, and quite difficult for her age, but she does a very nice job of it. Here's Caitlin, Aria Graciano.
All right, and last for this evening, but definitely never least, um, Mr. Lincoln Monroe. Uh, this young man, before this year, has never taken um, an instrumental solo to solo and ensemble contest. Um, he's always done an ensemble in the past. He chose to take a class A solo, quite ambitious, um, and it was clear pretty early on that he was gonna do a, a fantastic job of it. Um, you can sit, you can stand, you can do whatever works for you. Um, he is going to play one of the two sections from that solo for you tonight, and you're going to hear the difference. Not that, again, there's anything wrong with anything. All these amazing kids dead. Um, but the technical difficulty that is involved in a Class A piece um, is just above and beyond. On top of that, on the day of solo and ensemble, we had a student sick, um, and our sax trio was not going to be able to perform because of that sick student. And so Lincoln jumped in and learned that part that day so that those students could perform. Um, and if that doesn't speak to integrity, I don't know what does. So I think that deserves a round of applause. This is Movement 3 from Sonata in E-flat by Bach, performed by Lincoln Monroe. Thank you. 
hope you enjoyed the talents of these amazing students. Um, each one of them has worked so hard during the season to prepare these um, and, and other solos that you didn't get to hear tonight. Um, let's give them one more round of applause. Thank you for coming tonight. I hope that each and every one of you will join us um, for our musical production, which goes up March 15th, 16th, and 17th. Once Upon a Mattress, the story of the princess and the pea. Hope to see you there. Students, I need your help.